My fiance Hannah and myself were out at Elk Lake just exploring, having a little time to ourselves. And uh, there's a fox just right there and didn't seem scared of us or anything. Um, and he just kind of came towards us and just right in front of the truck. And I just, we just couldn't believe it. It was just such a beautiful sighting. It was only in the past decade biologists were able to prove through DNA sampling of scat and hair samples that some of the foxes people encounter in the High Cascades are a subspecies of Sierra Nevada red fox. These foxes that often appear black in color have thick hair on the pads of their feet, which helps them move through snow. So they're able to move more quickly across snow, uh, evade bigger, heavier predators like coyotes and cougars that might sink down in the snow while they can skitter on top. Um, it also makes them more effective at capturing prey. Atkins describes Sierra Nevada red foxes as charismatic little buggers that like to interface with recreation hotspots. A Mount Bachelor employee says he sees the foxes frequently at night while out grooming the slopes. A couple weeks ago, I see a five-leaf clover, which I didn't even know existed. And this just happened to be two days before I asked my girlfriend, Hannah, to marry me. Um, and so that paired with the fox and her saying yes, just feels like a string of good luck. Contact the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife if you're interested in helping study the range and distribution of Sierra Nevada red foxes. Brooks Snavely, Central Oregon Daily News.